Blue Mesh is enterprise Istio with multi-cluster and multi-mesh capabilities. It uses a management plane to simplify the adoption of a service mesh. It has access and traffic policies that are simple to use and are also multi-cluster aware. Let's do a demo. We'll use the famous BookInfo application deployed across multiple clusters. There's a product page front-end application, which calls the reviews application. There are three versions of the reviews application. V1 shows no stars, V2 shows black stars, and V3 shows red stars. And I have two clusters. First cluster has Istio 183 with the BookInfo app, but it only has reviews V1 and V2. The second cluster has Istio 192 and has reviews V3 and ratings. Let's take a look. Let's visit the product page on cluster one like you normally would with Istio through the Istio Ingress Gateway IP. If I refresh product page multiple times, you can see that I'm switching between no stars, which is V1, and then black stars, which is V2. To start applying Glue Mesh policies, we registered both of these clusters to the Glue Mesh management plane. That's running in a different cluster. So if we want to look at the management plane, the pods that are running on that plane, do kubectl get pods, Glue Mesh. So my management plane also knows about the remote clusters, the Istio versions that are installed on them, etc. If I do mesh CTL describe workloads, it also discovered all the workloads that are running on these remote clusters. Next, uh, let's apply a simple weight-based traffic policy. The glue mesh traffic policy API is very simple. For the traffic that's destined to reviews on remote cluster one, uh, we want to apply a policy that sends 20% to V1 on remote cluster one, and then 80% to V2 that's also on remote cluster one. If I go back to product page again, you can see now I'm mostly getting V2 as expected because I set 80% to go to V2. Next, let's do some multi-cluster routing. In order to securely send traffic from one cluster to another cluster, we need to unify the trust between the two clusters and then define our security posture. Glue Mesh Management Plane can be the CA, the root CA, and then distribute intermediate CAs for each one of the remote clusters, and Istio in that remote cluster will use that to sign its workload service. Um, we can do all of that using the Glue Mesh Virtual Mesh object. So we'll define that we want a global zero trust posture where every communication in the mesh needs to be explicitly allowed. And then we'll specify the two meshes that need to be joined together. Okay, now let's visit product page again. This time I'm seeing RBAC access denied. This is because we set global access policy to true and we need to create explicit access policies to allow that communication. First, we'll create one access policy for the ingress gateway to talk to the product page. And we can be very specific about the paths, the port, as well as the method if we wanted to. We'll also need another access policy that allows product page and the reviews to talk to the other pods in the default namespace, like the reviews, ratings, and details. So once I have these two applied, I should be able to access my booking flow application. All right, let's do some multi-cluster routing. And I can do that using the same traffic policy. We want to specify that I want to send 50% of the traffic to my local cluster. And then 50% of my, the other 50% of my traffic to version three on cluster two. So let's apply this traffic policy. So now if I go to product page application, I can see that I'm now switching between version one on cluster one and then version three, the red stars on cluster two. Finally, let's see how failover works. In the previous example, we showed a percentage of the traffic going to the remote cluster. But in a failover scenario, I want all traffic to actually stay in my local cluster until something happens, until my local services fail, then I want to automatically fail over that traffic to a remote cluster. 
And to do that, we'll leverage the virtual destination API. And this can create a global review service. And then we'll configure outlier metrics to tell it when to start using the failover service, what kind of errors to look for, the interval, and how long to eject a particular endpoint if it's failing. Then we'll need to add a traffic policy to divert all local traffic to this global virtual destination. Let's apply this and take a look at in action. So now if I visit product page application again, you can see that um, I'm getting version one and version two of my review service. Both version one and version two are on my local cluster, so it's switching between the two. In order for us to fail over to version three, we actually need to break version one and version two. So I can do that using, um, I'll patch the deployment and tell, it, tell both version one and version two to sleep. So now if I go back to product page application again, you can see I've now automatically failed over to version three on my remote cluster. Blue Mesh also comes with a great UI. So we have to launch that UI, we'll do MeshCTO dashboard, and in this UI, you can see all of your clusters, all of your meshes, um, the workloads that are on each of the clusters, the traffic policy, access policy, as well as uh, service graph, so you can see how traffic is flowing end-to-end -end between all of your clusters. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions um, or if you want a personalized demo. Thanks.